Yep, we're going to talk uh, just real quick about navigation. Um, I sort of glossed over that a little bit. Um, and I'm going to talk to you purely about the 3D view. Okay, so um, the, the floor plan, I guess, you already know if you um, middle mouse click button, it pans, right? You're not going to go into a 3D view in the floor plan view because then it's not a floor plan view. Um, the 3D view, on the other hand, uh, is um, easily navigatable, right? Obviously, you can zoom and stuff. Um, if you um, middle mouse click, it's going to pan just like any other view. If you need to orbit, hold shift and middle mouse click and you'll orbit. Okay. Um, so on the same note, I want to, it's not rotating. Are you holding shift? Okay. All right. So um, on, on the same note, the, the other part of this that I, I think is important is for you to understand the capabilities of viewing a building in 3D view. Um, the, that be, basically, that means um, there's a section box that is so cool that while you're working like on the detail parts of your building, you can like look at it in, in 3D section like anytime you want. And it's, it's, it's actually pretty revolutionary, I think. Um, so that's uh, if you click into the 3D view and you go over to your properties menu, I'm going to show you your first very special parameter. Um, and that's, I guess it's called a parameter. It's this little checkbox right here um, that's a section box. And check that on. And you're going to see this little, you know, box thingy show up around our box or our building. Now, uh, that is a very simple rectilinear box, right? Like it, it doesn't change. It doesn't come in another format. So if you've got a really crazy geometry building, you just got to work with it. Um, but what it does is if I need to look at this building in section, I can pull this in and now I've got my building in section right there. So I can kind of look into it. Um, I can investigate. And if I need to see it in side section and plan section, I pull that down, looking at it in plan, all good, right? So it's, it's a tremendously powerful visualization tool, and it's one that I use like while I'm actively working on the 3D model. I have that open all day long. Okay, yeah. Uh, it does need to be in the, well, it doesn't, uh, I, I guess, I don't know what you mean by press 3D. You need to be in the 3D view. Um, well, actually, let me correct myself. You don't need to be in the 3D view. You can actually do it on plan view as well, but it's called crop view. So you click on crop view, uh, sorry, uh, crop region visible crop view, and you can you know kind of pull things down and crop out the view. We'll, we'll get that we'll, we'll get to that in plan view when we get there but I wanted you to be able to see section in 3 3d at all times too yeah okay yeah so uh, okay let me I forget the docking mechanism for that one I'm trying to get it to just do half and it doesn't like it This is also really laggy. There we go. No, it didn't do it. It's like showing me like it wants to, but it won't. I'll figure that out eventually. Okay, I'll take a break time and I'll take care of that. But yeah, it is a little confusing. So yeah, it's worth it's worth fixing. Any other questions? Yeah. For the 3D view? Sure. Yeah. yeah um, let me just uh, turn this one off. Turn um, this guy out here. Okay, so um, your 3D view, um, you know what, I'll do this. I'm going to stop the video, and then uh, I'll do it.